What's really good, ladies and gentlemen? I figure I go live today. I didn't get a chance to go live Tuesday because I was on a job. So I figure I went, I go live today. Today, I want to talk about something because we had a little bit of a discussion over on TikTok about an email address. It was a big deal. People say, oh, I got a Gmail and I do what I want with my Gmail and blah, 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 blah. Today, we're going to talk about brand because it's very, very, very important when you're building a business, especially when you are a smaller company. So I, I think it's something that a lot of people sleep on and it plays a part into why they are not as successful as they want. We're going to talk about that. First, we got to roll this intro. We got to go ahead and do that. So we can get right into it. So let's do it. You're listening to Content and Cash, a Flash Film Academy podcast. If you want to learn how to take pretty pictures, this is not the place. But if you're ready to make a living by learning the business behind the camera, buckle up because it's time to turn passion into profit with your host, Ty Turner. Let's get this show started. If this is your first time on this channel right here, listening to this podcast or watching this channel, you got to understand that Flash Film Academy is about growing the business side of content creation. Everywhere else tell you how to spend money, but right here we tell you how to make it. My name is Ty. I'm a former Army combat photographer. I own Flash Film Media, which is one of Dallas's most trusted production companies. And we work with a lot of big brands. If you follow my channel, you may have seen some of the ones I was working with just yesterday. We work with a lot of big brands and we teach you how to go after those brands because every business around you need content every single day for more reasons than you can imagine, for way more reasons than you can imagine. The question is, why aren't they hiring you? And when you're ready to answer that question, this is what we, we're here to do. Let me start off by saying, um, we, let me, we, first, we got the free uh, Capture and Convert Kit over at Flash Home Academy. Five courses, two free ebooks. Jump on that, folks. It's two easy payments of free 99. Free 99 to get you in the game. All right? Don't say I don't do nothing nice for you. I don't give you a little bit up front because I do. I give you a lot up front. But today we got to discuss some things that are very important about your mentality and how you think about your company. Um, I put out a short not too long ago uh, talking about the fact that you don't want to use a Gmail account with your business. You don't want to use a Yahoo account with your business. And people were butthurt about it. I use a Gmail and blah, blah, blah. My cousin got a business and he used Gmail and blah, blah, blah. Let me ask you a question. If FedEx sent you a tracking number on a Gmail, would you trust it? If UPS sent you a tracking number via Gmail, would you trust it? If your doctor emailed you from a Gmail, would you trust it? Take any of the most important businesses or subscriptions you currently use on a regular basis and, and let it come from a Gmail. Would you trust it? Or would you think it's spam? Now, I think it's crazy that I even have to discuss this or talk about it because it's a no brainer. And let me pause for a second, right? Because people act like to get your own email account, it's a billion dollars. No, you just, you're, you're ignorant to how much it costs because it's like $7. Whenever you buy a domain, you can get an email address attached to it. In fact, you can get a, you can make a hundred emails that forward somewhere else for free. You can get Outlook or use whatever pro platform you want to for about $60 a year. It is the first thing you should do once you get a domain. You should be setting up your email addresses. It's not an email that's somewhere free. It's not an email service that's using your data to sell to you with ads. No. You know how people walk around and talk about stuff and you start seeing ads? A lot of that come from all the free services you're using. All the Gmail services you're using. If you have an Android phone, that data is being used to market to you. And I'm not going to start the iPhone versus Android beef here. It ain't about that. But you have to know that having a Gmail account is not in your best interest if you are a business. Now, if you're a side hustle, you're trying to make a little $20 on the side, I'm not talking to you. 
because you ain't you ain't doing this for real. We, we we talking about people on a different level. I ain't talking to you. We talking about people who want to do this and make six figures. We talking about people who want to do this and add another fifty, forty, thirty thousand dollars to their yearly income. We talking about the people that's serious about growing their business. I ain't talking about y'all dollar man, picture man, booty booty photographers in the club. I'm not talking to you. And I understand why you may have been offended because in your world, a Gmail account will work. Not in real business. You should have a uniform. And I'm not talking about a t-shirt with your logo. I'm not talking about a t-shirt with your company name on it that's faded by the third job and barely fit. In fact, here, I'm, let me punch you in the throat because this is where we go over all everything you should have and where you should get it from. You should have a uniform. You should not be showing up all wearing the same color or all wearing all black. You should have a uniform if you serious if you want to make six figures doing this. It's not up for the it's a non-negotiable. It's a non-negotiable. You should have a uniform. Everything you have should have your logo on it. From your vehicle to your pen that you pull out your pocket to sign the check with should have your logo on it. If you don't believe me, go walk into a UPS and watch how they got their logo on their socks. If you're not building your business after the, the, the prominent successful businesses that are around you, what are you doing? Success leaves clues. They say that. That's a real thing. All you got to do is look and be smart enough to turn that into action. Every business around you have a uniform. If it's a service-based business. I'm not letting nobody in my house from Comcast that don't have a uniform on. I don't even trust people coming up to my house. Amazon had to put a vest on these people because they was like, bro, what you doing? What you walking up to my house with this box for? I forgot I ordered something. Absolutely, Sam. Say you remember having this conversation with you years ago. Absolutely. You need to have a uniform. This is not up for debate. Look around you. You can you can cry about it and be mad about it and try to debate me. But go look at the top 50 service based companies. I guarantee you they all have a uniform. There's somebody working at a factory right now where the outside world never gets to see them and they still have a uniform on. Your business needs uniforms. Period. Now, if you are artsy fartsy photographer and you, you know what I'm saying, you taking pictures and of somebody's dog on the in the park, you you good. We ain't talking to you. You ain't you ain't getting that bag like that. You're not you're not going to places we talking about. But if you're looking to work with companies, if you're looking to grow your business, if you're looking to get those big checks, five and six figure checks, not years, five and six figure checks, you need to present yourself as a big company. You need to present yourself as a company worthy of doing business with them. You need to present yourself that way. And if you're not doing everything in your power to present yourself that way, you look like the dusty guy at the club. You look like the person who don't belong. You look like you could possibly do it for cheap, but you're not going to do it good. You don't look like somebody that is reassuringly expensive. That's why you got to do so much fighting when you send over a proposal. That's why you got to do so much selling because you don't look the part. You got to do all that selling because you don't look the part. And none of your people around you is telling you don't you don't look the part because none of them have been in a position where they needed somebody with your skill set at that level. Go and rewind that because it's real important. What I just said is real important. You're not hanging around people who understand what it's like to spend twenty, thirty, fifty thousand dollars on an asset. All your friends spend that amount of money on liabilities. You can say your house is an asset. Okay. I'll give you that. You can hide that one. But nobody around you is in the position to buy what you sell. That's why we teach the beta client method so that you're around people 
who can afford what you're trying to sell so that they can tell you, hey, dog, it's not a good idea. Your partner and them sitting back making up stuff. Yeah, you can, and you can charge this for a video and you do 10 of them a week. That's $20,000. Okay. Always the broke people can tell you how to get rich. The rich people put it in books. Everything I'm telling you come from multiple books. I'm just saving you an hour of your life. But everything I'm telling you is available for $9.99 or one credit on Audible. I've read it in multiple books. I've read it and put it into practice, verified that it worked, and now I'm coming back telling you this is what you need to do. But it's all there. And, and once you learn about it and you start to walk around and open your eyes and see how a McDonald's who's selling a two, three, four dollar burger, who's the cheap guy, who's selling the cheapest food on the planet, can still put $10 million into a location to sell you two dollar burgers. They understand the importance of brand. And I've used the McDonald's analogy over and over again. And I'm going to use it again. Right. Who sell more burgers than McDonald's? Nobody. Who has a burger worse than McDonald's? Nobody. Nobody burger is worse than McDonald's. But McDonald's understand it ain't about the burger. It's not about the, it haven't been about the burger since they started franchising in 1960 something. It's not about the burger. It's about making it fast, cheap, and convenient. Don't care what people say, they can bite into the burger and make faces, they can spit it out, they can be mad about it. But we know that there are three things that are more important than the taste of that burger. Fast, cheap, and convenient. And if you think I'm a lie, you think I'm lying, I'm giving you false information. Next time you ride past one of the McDonald's and they put how many burgers they sold on that sign, make sure you read it slow. Because they got something. Now, for your business, you need to work on building the brand so that you can look like what you're asking for, right? And let me, let's, let's go to use some other analogies or examples to help you understand why this is important. Toyota, one of the top car companies in the world knew that, Hey, we good at selling cars in mid range, but for us to sell something that's more expensive, we need to introduce a different brand. Because our brand is associated with mid-level cars. And people don't want to spend top dollar from a brand that's associated with mid-level cars. So what did they do? They created Lexus. They created Lexus just to sell you more Toyota prices at a higher price. Just so you could say, I got a Lexus. And you know what they did? They built that brand around the idea of luxury. That's why we talk about brand big time over at the Academy. Let me pop that up. Because you're building your brand to be the cheap guy. And and you're wondering why you're not getting sales. You're building your brand to be the dusty, cheap dollar general. You've invested, even dollar general invested money. I can't even say them. But you've invested pennies into your brand, but you want somebody to pay you as though you're Lexus and you're not. So you have to look at your brand and make sure that you're, you're investing in the right things, invest in your brand before you invest in your gear. And this is something, let me say this, because this is something that the artists and and the content creators, you, they get lost in this. You think that because you think that because you show up with this camera, you didn't spent Four, five thousand dollars on. I ain't even got my camera over here. You think because you show up with all this gear and this camera and you spent this on a lens, a client will care. They don't. Your clients don't care how much your camera costs. They don't. They don't give a damn. They just want to see a big camera. That's it. They don't know the difference between a, a Canon Rebel T2i and a freaking Alexa Mini. They have no idea. Now, pause, because there's a lot of you out there going to be like, oh, my client, blah, 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 blah. If your client is an agency, they care. 
If your client is an agency who is saying we need to match footage with this, hey, we need this shot on the Sony because we're putting it with some Sony footage, or we, we're going to broadcast and we need to do X, Y, and Z, they care mostly about Kodak and not camera. Mostly about Kodak and not camera. But the average business that's out here looking to spend 200000 a year on content, they don't care. They don't care. You care about it. In your mind, you think because you've wasted a lot of money on gear, your prices should be up here. I hate when YouTubers tell you, add up the money you spent on your gear, and then that'll help you with your price of what you should be charging. That is BS. That is complete BS. Do you, would you pay more for ice cream if, if McDonald's spent more on the ice cream machine? No, you wouldn't. Would you pay more to get your tire rotated if, if the company spent more on lifts? You don't care what, what brand they're using. Stop thinking your client is looking in your camera bag to see what you got. In fact, in 2024, you shouldn't even be selling camera kits as an as a upsell. That's the dumbest thing ever. Go explain to a client that got a business that you're buying service from me, but it don't come with me having a camera. That's go. That's literally like going to my mechanic and they saying, yeah, I can change your alternators. Do you want me to use the DeWalt tools or the Milwaukee tools? You have to pay for the tools I use to change your alternator on top of the price of changing your alternator. How much sense does that make? Stop doing that in 2024. Stop listening to these guys that's regurgitating this 1989 filmmaking, uh, you know, sales business models. Stop listening to these guys that's teaching you how to sell portraits in 1989. Companies don't care no more. They don't care about that. You know what they do care about? You solving their damn problem. That's all they care about. And the clients who pay the most money care about that more than anything. A lot of people get filmmaking mixed up with content creation. If you want to make films, if you want to go to Hollywood, if you want to get somebody's coffee until you move up and hopefully get a shot at being an assistant to the assistant to the assistant director, go for it. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking about those who own a high end camera that's sitting around the city with a bunch of businesses that that's not posting enough content. A bunch of businesses that don't have recruiting videos, training videos, communication videos, a bunch of a bunch of businesses that don't have product photography, headshots, that don't have training photography. I'm talking about people who are sitting around all that money and can't find a way to, to cash that check. If you're trying to do Hollywood, good luck. But there's a lot of money around you, content creators. It's everywhere. You rolled past 20 clients today and didn't even know it. You just don't know how to get in front of them. You don't know how to appeal to them. You don't know how to solve their problems. You don't even know how to discover their problems. Somebody once said, you want to make a lot of money? Solve rich people problems. You don't even know where to begin. Because you started a business without understanding what problem you solved. Hoping something would land on your lap. That's why this should be the biggest upgrade you make. This is what you should be upgrading and not your camera gear. Hell, you can't even work most of your camera gear all the way. You, you ain't been through all the menus on most of your camera gear. I know I done bought plenty of tilter follow focuses and cranes and jibs I've used once or twice and they collected dust. I used to be that guy. Had to have everything new. I don't even know how I'm going to use it yet. Cinema glass to shoot what? My kids play in the park. I used to be that guy. And it's okay. You watching YouTube will have you buying stuff you don't even need just because. Well, if a client asks for this, I got it. Bam. That ain't helping you. You don't even know what type of client you service. How about we figure out what problem you solve? And then we figure out, is it valuable? Do people, what do, what do people want to pay to solve that problem? Where do the people who have that problem go to learn about how to solve that problem? And how can I get there? 
And what tools do I need to solve that problem? That's business. And if you're not thinking like that, it's a lot of stuff you don't know you don't know. And we got to help you think about business like that. We got to help you think about solving people's problems with a cinematic solution. Right? I got clients who, and I've used this before, if you've ever watched the channel, spending a lot of time with their, with their assistants up front, helping clients fill out paperwork. They're paying their assistants $50 an hour. They got assistants that are spending multiple hours up front with new clients. I don't, I don't need to dive deep for them to know that it's costing them thousands of dollars per week to have an assistant up front where assistants should be in the back getting patients out. A video about how to fill out that paperwork is the solution to that problem. A video that should be playing in the lobby is the solution to that problem. Now, knowing I'm saving you thousands of dollars per week, every week for a year, that's, that's, I'm saving you five figures a year. I'm, let's say I'm saving you 50,000 a year when we do the math. You're not willing to spend 20 to fix it? I'm sure you are. I'm sure you're willing to spend $20,000 to fix a $50,000 problem. Now that I know the issue that my client have, I know how much it's costed them, and I have a solution for it, I can determine whether or not I want to solve that problem because it's not a $2 problem. Now, what if we did the math and the math for that problem was $1,000 a year? You think they're going to spend $20,000 to fix a $1,000 a year problem? They're not. But a lot of you all have $2 problems you're trying to solve with your $10,000 worth of gear for a client. And he like, I don't, I don't really need that. I'm good. And your mentality is that the market, market is saturated. People too cheap. They don't want to spend money. No, you just don't solve good problems. You've never asked questions to learn about your client's problems. You went in with the idea that everybody need promotional material and everybody need what you think and you've never run their business a day in your life. I see it all the time. I see it all the time. So you got literally, you are, you are starving in a grocery store. Right? It's so much business and money around you. You are literally starving in a grocery store. You're starving in a buffet right now. You hungry in, in, a, in a golden corral right now because you don't understand where the plates are, how to get a plate and get your knife and spoon so you can go fix yourself a plate and everybody else around you is eating, literally. If you are a content creator in 2024 and, and you spent more on your gear than your gear have made you, I want you to just, just digest that for a minute. If you got a $3,000 camera body, $2,000 in lenses, a couple hundred dollars in bags, $200 in, in mics, $1,000 in lights. If you spend more for your gear than you've made off that gear, you're investing in the wrong stuff. You need to be investing in this because this will make you 10 times more money per month than your gear ever will. I can hire shooters. I can manage the project and, and provide the solution and get Joe Blow off the street to go film it. So you have to make the decision. Am I just a cameraman? Am I, am I a project manager? Project managers make six figures, seven figures. Cameramen make five figures easily. So these are the things you have to think about if you're a content creator looking to grow in this business. There's a lot of business around you. I don't know where else you're getting your, uh, your source about being a content creator. Everybody else is telling you to build a portfolio and hope that they come to you, which I think is the absolute dumbest thing to do in the world. It's, it's, the, it's the dumbest thing to do in the world. Is to go out here and spend this time building your portfolio in hopes that you get business. They are, they are not telling you how to run a business. They're telling you what sounds easy and fun. And, and if you think just having, you know, a Wix page 
with your best images or video is going to bring you business, it's not. Even if you spend money to market it, it doesn't solve a problem. Period. What problem do you solve? Look at your website. Go to your website right now and say, what problem, if I, what problem do I need to have to land here and feel like this, these people can solve my problem? Very simple. It's a very simple train of thought that I want all of my photographers and videographers to do. What, look at your brand and say, what problem do my brand solve? If it takes you more than two seconds to think of something, you failed. What, what problem do Gatorade solve? Quench your thirst. What problem do Nike solve? Anything athletic, just do it. What pro, like, you, 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 you're picking up what I'm putting down? What problem do Cadillac solve? High-end luxury vehicle. Affordable high-end luxury vehicle. What problem do Jeep solve? Off-road, rugged, all-terrain vehicles for those who love the outdoors. We can go down a list of brands and companies and, and the problem that they solve. You as John Smith Media, I can land on your website and still don't know what problem you solve. I just know you got pictures or you got video. I just know you like cameras and you're passionate about it as if passion matters in 2024. I said it before and I said it again. Your ass need to be passionate about solving problems. And not passionate about taking pictures. You see, a lot of people get into content creation thinking that it's easy money. And it's better than, you know, it's better than going to work and blah, 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 blah. You know, you ain't got to, you, you got to still work. It's just your work is worrying about exposure, composition, editing. It's still work. It ain't easy. It's not an easy thing. This ain't an easy thing to do. This is a very hard thing, and it's not as saturated as you think. Everybody and a mama is right at the bottom. Every, once you get out of the, that, that thick group of Best Buy shoppers who got a, got a camera, an 18 to 55 and a 50 um, fantastic plastic that decide they want to do portrait, family portraits, events, maybe wedding photography a little bit. Like, like that, that level of is, is thick. The level of the uneducated, as far as business camera users, it's thick. Once you break out of that, it is, it's a blue ocean. It's, it's all you can eat. And it don't take much to break out of it. I've given you multiple clues on this video alone. Uniform. Next time you go somewhere and somebody's shooting, let me give you an example. Let me, let's do this. Next time you're at an event and it's at a hotel and a hotel, the, the event hired that, that high ass live streaming video production team that's probably making 200,000 for this, for this shoot. They all wearing uniforms. They all wear uniforms. Next time you see that broke, barely making it photographer or videographer that's promising a client pictures and video on the same job. They're probably wearing some BS. Look at the companies that are successful. Follow the, they, they're giving you the game. Take it from, like, take it. Learn from them. I'm not, I'm not teaching you guys nothing I have not learned from the companies who are successful. That's where uniforms came into play. Solving problems come into play. What, what problem do UPS solve? They get packages from one place to another. Like what, what problem do your brand solve? You really need to think about this because you're buying gear. You're spending this money. You're making so-called investments. You're really buying it because you want it. Let's be real. You're buying it because you want it. And the idea that you can use it to make money is just an emotional decision to help you pull a trigger on something you have no business buying. If we're being honest here. You, you, what would make you buy it is looking at it saying, oh man, I'm, I'm going to use this on a client. That's what's making you buying that. Here, somebody asked me to post it again. There you go. Nope, that's not the one. So th that, that's, that is what we got to change how you think about business because there's a lot of money in video production and photography. There's a lot of money in recording podcasts. 
If you got a if you got a studio, you should be doing voiceovers and training in that studio instead of looking for rappers that want to pay forty dollars a pop. You should be recording high end multilingual voiceovers in that studio. You know, so these are things that we we got to change how you think about it. And if you're not changing how you think about your business, you're not gonna make it. You're gonna be stuck in that thick layer of Best Buy shoppers. No disrespect to Best Buy. You're going to be stuck in that thick group of people who go on Facebook and post that they're available for portraits and stuff like that. Post their name marketing. And then, you're going to, and then the people that's going to refer you, they're not going to refer you because you're good. They're not going to refer you because you're reassuringly expensive. They're going to refer you because they know you and somebody can get a discount. So cheap people refer you to cheap people. Happens all the time. I I never post bit my business on Facebook. Facebook is my friends and family. They don't know what it's like to have purchased from me. That's just they, they're my friends and family. I love them to death, but they're not a business who 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 knows who need to spend thirty thousand on video. Will I have one or two that may? Yeah, but for the most part, I don't solve people problems. I solve business problems. And if you're not solving business problems, you're not getting business checks. You're getting people checks. I don't want a people check. I want a business check. Because business checks don't bounce and business checks pay stuff off. Business checks help you sleep at night for a long time, for weeks. Business checks are the best checks you can get. Business checks have you walking in the bank like you the man. Business checks have you winking at the teller or how the teller winking at you. Let me take, let me reverse that. Business checks how the teller winking at you. You ain't withdrew enough money out your account if they hadn't told you you got to call. Sir, you got to call in advance to take this much money out. We don't have this type of money on location. You ain't, you have not, you have not cast a check big enough if they told you we couldn't, sir, we cannot, we cannot cast this check right here. You got to come back. We got to order the money. If you've never experienced that, you haven't cast a check big enough. Sir, uh, we got this, listen, you can't just come up here and withdraw this type of money. What do you think this is? I think this is the bank. Don't y'all got a vault full of, we don't got this type of money here. You got to put in an order for this. If your business is not cashing them checks, you're doing it wrong. Elvis from Nigeria, he said, when I learned this, it changed my business forever. Absolutely. Absolutely. You, you have to, if your business needs to be built around solving problems. If you want big checks, solve big problems. That is the most valuable thing you will learn on YouTube this year. It's going to come from a dude sitting here with his little nappy hair and his red shirt that's telling you to stop taking pictures and videos and learn to solve problems. Use your skill set, your talent, your superpower of content creation to solve problems. You are a superhero. You have a super skill set. You, you are talented. Stop being this artist that's going to create whatever they want to create have an art gallery and have people walking around like this saying, I'll buy it. Them days are over with. Stop dealing with people. People don't have big checks. I don't like people checks. I like business checks. Solve the problem of a business. Businesses have millions and billions of dollars. They're not emotional about solving a problem. They're logical about it. You don't need to sell them. You just need to tell them that you can solve a problem and show proof. I don't need to convince them or sway them and have them feeling like, and we going and, and you're doing all that selling for nothing. You, the, you know, the bigger the check, the less selling you're going to do. The bigger the check, the less micromanaging they're going to do. The bigger the check, the easier it is to sell to that client. You do know that, right? You do know that as you go up and with clients, it becomes easier, not harder. But to get in those rooms, you need to have a brand that look like they belong in those rooms. 
It's the people at the bottom fighting. It's the people in the in the in the smaller rooms are fighting to get noticed and sell and prove why they can do this. They undercutting on pricing. That don't happen in the other rooms. That don't happen in the top tier rooms. A handshake and yes, it makes sense. Yes, we have this problem. Let's do it. In fact, let's do it every year for the next few years. In fact, let me send let me send this over to a few of my other friends who have this problem as well so you can solve it for them. Because they also have billion dollar companies or million dollar companies and they're having a problem with recruiting right now. And the recruiting video you did for me increased my ability to hire by 30, 40, 50%. It brought me in quality candidates that I didn't have before your video. With quality candidates, I was able to do another 20 to 30% in revenue this year. That's worth millions to me. Your video is worth millions to me. Your ability to solve that problem is worth millions to me. Hell yeah, I'm going to pay you a couple hundred thousand to make millions. It's a no-brainer. And I'm going to refer you to 10 of my friends who also need to spend a couple hundred thousand with you so that they can make millions. If you're not solving problems, you're not going to make it. Use your skill set, your talent to solve problems. That's it. Stop taking pictures. Stop shooting video. Stop looking at it that way. If you're looking at it that way, you are a cameraman or woman. You should be trying to solve problems. Period. I don't care what, what so-called guru you want to go with, what YouTube channel you want to follow that's unboxing stuff every week and telling you how to get more dynamic interviews and, and telling you why you need sliders and gimbals and six cameras and cinema glass with no imperfection. Yeah, okay. You can solve a client problem with a cell phone. We have students that have done it and cash $40,000, $50,000 checks. Solving clients' problems with cell phones. Don't believe me? Ask them. Show up. Show up to our accountability meeting that's starting in nine minutes and talk to people who do this for a living. It's all about sol solving problems. If you're not solving problems, you're probably not where you want to be in this industry. If you're not looking at this to solve problems, you're probably not making the money you want to make. And most of the people are stuck in that little bottom sector where everybody is trying to undercut everybody price wise and it's saturated and you have the mindset that this is impossible. People are not spending no money or I need to go get clients. If your mindset is this is impossible, I can't make a living off this. It's just some change. It's too saturated or I need to go get clients. Let me post this again for you because you you in the wrong place. Let me let me post this other one again for you. You in the wrong place because I'm about to uh, every every week we debunk those three myths. It's not oversaturated. You're just in the wrong space. You in the wrong crowd of people who don't know how to sell value. So they undercut you with price and they're not making no money. They just want to do it. Just to say they broke even. They don't solve problems. They sell pictures. They don't know. They don't know about. They don't know how to sell value. I'm not going. I'm not going to charge less than you. I'm going to charge more than you, and I'm going to solve that client problem, and they're going to be happy to pay it. And you're going to look like the cheap guy. And the people who do buy from the cheap guy micromanage the hell out of you. I'm not going after a client. I'm going to be where those where the clients who have the problems I solve look. And I'm going to present myself as the best problem solver in the industry. Period. And I'm a cash big business checks, not cash and personal checks. I don't deal with people individually. If you ain't going through a payroll department or it don't have to be approved by another person when that invoice come in, you need to reach a little higher. There's a whole lot of money out here. There's a, let me say it again. There's a whole lot of money out here for content creation. I'm going to say it the third time. There's a whole lot of money out here for content creation. You just don't know where to look.
Them folks is they everywhere. You are literally starving inside of a grocery store right now. Because every business, every every business you know of need content. Every time there's a change in where they put the ketchup at, at Kroger, there's a freaking video about training video about it. Every new update, every company around you roll out, every new policy that changes, every local law that changes, there's a video that rolls out about it, training videos. Every time a, a, a restaurant changes their menu, there's a training video on it. There's too much money out here and not enough people in, in the B2B sector because you don't, know how to, you don't know how to carry yourself in that room. You don't know how to you don't know how to maneuver in that room. A lot of your friends and family know what it's like to spend 10, 20, 30 thousand dollars on a liability. They don't know what it's like to spend that on an asset. They don't know what it's like. Let's be real. There's nothing wrong with that. But you can't get advice from people who've never invested 20,000 and made 50. Put yourself in front of businesses that, that want to spend $20,000 on content that'll make them 50. And watch how easy it is to, to, to cash $20,000 checks. You got to think about it differently. You got to change your, your business. You got to make sure you invest heavy on your branding, your clipboards, your vehicle, your everything. When we hand over an itinerary to our client, it has our logo on it, our website. Everything about my brand says that I am supposed to be here. Everything about my brand says Lexus, not Toyota. Everything about my brand is built to do just that. We are the best of the best, and we attract clients who want to get it done right, not cheap. All we do is work with clients who want to get it done right. They don't care what it costs. There's more people in this world than you think that don't care what it costs that want it done right. And usually they're businesses because there's money on the line. Right to a regular person is subjective. It's an, it's an emotional purchase. What they may have in their head and what you may have in your head is completely different. And if you're not good at getting that out of their head so that you can replicate it, it's going to be wrong. They're not going to be happy. I don't deal with clients like that. I deal with clients that work in a world full of numbers and they're saying, we got to get these numbers up higher using content. Say less. This is what we do. So when I come back and they can say whatever they want to say about the content, the truth is the numbers is higher. We ain't got to go back and forth about my artistic direction. They don't care about that. They care about money. So anyway, with that being said, all my people that's on the app, we're getting ready to jump on the app and have our accountability meeting. We're getting ready to talk to gold members about the wins and losses they've had this week. We're getting ready to talk to members about some of the hiccups and some of the issues that they've run across this week so we can get them straight and get them right and get them ready for next week. At Flash Room Academy, unlike your other friends or whoever you follow, we, we, we talk about accountability. I'm not just here to sell you courses and classes. I'm here to make sure your ass implementing them courses and classes. Because when you look bad, I look bad. So we want to make sure that, you know, we, we are a part of your success. And we want to have a place where we can talk and, and ask questions. Iron sharpen iron. You know, there's plenty of people around the world that jump on these calls with us. And they may run into a problem and, hey, I got a solution. We did that. You may be on level two. They may be on level 22. And they, they can give you the steps so you can get up some extra levels. Um, and that's the goal. Iron sharpen iron. When you're around content creators, you, you, you get better at what you do, especially when you're around business minded content creators who understand the value of solving problems and not your friends that just want to do it to make a few extra dollars here and there and wouldn't know what to do if I, if I handed them a client that had a hundred thousand dollar check, they would fumble the bag. I've seen it. I've seen people fumble the bag over and over again because they didn't provide the client with enough detail on what they wanted to do. They wanted to just show up and shoot. Well, this is not an artistic job. This is a results driven job that's based on you solving a problem. You haven't even acknowledged the client's problem. Hell, if you look at that problem, you may find six other problems within that problem to sell more stuff to that. They like, damn, I never thought about that. You're right. We do need a video for that too. add that to the let's do this. Let's do that. So 
With that being said, I'm gonna see y'all in the next video. If you're not if you're not a member over at Flash Film Academy, it's less than a dollar a day. It's less than a dollar a day. What's your excuse? Post your excuse in the comments. What's your excuse? It's 83 cents a day. You've learned enough here to grow your business. It's 83 cents a day. What's your excuse? Download the app at the App Store. Or sign up from the website. 83 cents a day. Uh, there's no excuse. The excuse is you want to be where you at. So have fun. See y'all in the next video. You've been listening to Content and Cash, a Flash Film Academy podcast. Make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and go to our webpage at www.flashfilmacademy.com.